Dragons, welcome back to Commander Dragon Dragmaster is here. We're going to be playing another game, uh, but this time it's not uh, the Siren game, but a game that we haven't actually played in a hot minute. We are going to be playing Yes, Your Grace. That's right, Yes, Your Grace. It's been a minute, haven't been able to hop back to it, but you know what? Here we go. been a hot minute. Just listen to the music. Love the music to this. Amazing. It might, it's probably, it's probably copyright protected. So, yeah. Alright, so we're looking at where we have to repair a theater, we have to fix the market stall, and we have to fix the pantry roof. So, alright, I feel like, there we go. Alright, so I think we're going to save and continue here, because it's taking... 11, oh, so we get 11 gold and 8 food at the taxes. We're spending 9, 10, 11. Oh, no, we get 2 off the new market, so we're actually getting, what is this, 13 here? And we're losing 19, unfortunately, so there's a deficit. The food isn't being subtracted, though. That's pure profit, so save and continue. All right. We're on a week 3, guys. Week 3. Uh-oh. Mm. Dear Eric, we have crossed the mountains. We will come for what was promised, for the gods have graced us with their strength. Byron, the king of Gradovia. So they do have a king after all. And where there's a king, an army follows. What promise are the babbling about anyway? It's best not to speak this in front of them. What would they say? If I seek to take my daughter's hand, would these guys say something? Or they would they not say anything at all? I don't know. But let's see what happens. But how, you never mentioned it, Your Grace. I didn't think I would have to keep my word. You can't let barbarians seize the throne. Our treasury is low, but we can always seek allies. I will let you get on with the arduous, and I will make some preparations in the meantime. I will be in the council chamber, Your Grace. Alright, so I told him, because I figured it's better that he understands the situation, than not at all. Forward. Your grace, injustice and hunger have struck our village. Men dressed in black came and took our stock. Hardly anything left worth giving to the dogs now. I wanted to kindly ask for seven pieces of gold, or five stacks of supplies, your grace. That way, we can at least keep our children fed. Take these supplies, and feed your children well. That will be enough to keep us going for a couple of weeks. God's favor you. Alright, so I believe people's needs. Food damages. Uh, let's see. These are all different things. Uh, poverty in the village. Villagers reported men dressed in black stealing their stock, which is most likely the guys coming in. Did the king decide to show his gen to show his generosity and give the villagers supplies? I want to try to keep the... I want to be a, a righteous king. You know, I want to be... The kind of king that everyone wants. When a Rodovian man, yeah, Rodovian, that's what it was. Rodovia. When a Rodovia man showed up. See. At Davin's Casa, Eric immediately knew it was about the promise he and his wife made 13 years ago. Euralia agreed with Eric's worries. Byron, a thug from Rodovia, was after the king's oldest daughter, Lorsulia. A letter arrived which confirmed Eric's worries that Rodovia is seeking what was promised to them. Okay. Forward merchant. I come with a business of our position, your grace. I need 12 gold to hire men and buy resources to build a new tavern in Bronca. You see, the tavern will serve as more than just a way for locals to get drunk. The village is really well positioned. It has many visitors, but they never stay for long. A new tavern will change that and will guarantee a steady income. I will share the profits once I start making money on the business. This sounds good. Take the gold and let the business grow. Oh, wonderful. You won't regret it, Your Grace. I will get right on with the work. Eight solid tables, thirteen bits. We can make a cheaper shared chamber. Oh, it's going to work well. All right, so we have a new, a new archive here. Uh, tavern business. A merchant has offered to King Eric a share. Oh, so that's right. Uh, Eric's the name of the king. A share in the tavern business in exchange for an initial investment. The king, eager at the chance to improve the health of the treasury, invested some gold into the tavern's business. Right, because anything 
any kind of goal that we can make right now is going to be detrimental to a potential future war here, which is most likely going to be at our doorstep here at any moment. Peasant, forward. Your grace, a disease is crawling in our village. It's nothing serious, I don't think, but fevers and sneezes are all over the place. Fevers and sneezes. Sounds like a... Well, a cold. It appeared out of nowhere, as if a dark force brought it upon us. I don't have much food, so I could give him gold. I can't offer much, but here it is. And that's still supplies. I hope this will be enough for you and your neighbors. Thank you, this is more than we expected anyway. You have a good heart, your grace. Enter complete. Alright, so let's, let's walk around, see what we can do. Council chamber. Kid then, said to me. Hey there. Silly pickle po potato head. I like pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin? That's new, I like it. <laughs> Your grace. Hmm. I will see you later, pumpkin. You shouldn't really be playing in here. That's alright. Your grace, I appointed a scout. He will let us know what we're up against. Meanwhile, we should invite King Talus. He might be able to help. Alright, so allies. We can talk to the nearby lords, but first I would suggest inviting Talus. Here you can view details of each of your potential allies. You need to have a pigeon available in order to send an invite. King Talus. 3,000! Wow! She's got one food and 60, but yeah, definitely. Great, Talus should visit us within the week. With his army, we should be able to repel Rodovia, no matter what they come with. Thank you, Audrey. You're great. Hmm. Sidani, I always tell you not to play here. But this is my, my most precious place in the cat fortress. Oh, you have most finest items here, father. Please let me stay here. I won't break anything, I promise. Oh, well, how can I say no? Fine, you can stay, as long as you don't damage anything. Oh yes, thank you, fa your grace. Woo, let's see what else is in here. <sighs> Alright, kiddo. Alright. Nothing useful here, just a pile of rubbish. Alright, how about leave the room? Ah. I think that's it. I don't see any other icons, so I think I'm basically done for the day. Uh, then I click this to end, the, to go to the next week. Okay, so... We're getting 11 in taxes, 9 in food this time. That's good, guys. We're getting more food. Um, and it says here, bank gold paint was 10 gold, new market stalls 2, stand general minus 9. Yeah, so I'm paying the general right now. And so we're looking at current resources 14. Wait, what if I... Oh, okay, this stuff has already happened. This is This is history. All right, so these have already happened. Gain two gold per week on the fixed market, which which was worth the investment. Uh, remove supplies penalty from treasury, which was good. Repair three removes contentment penalty from the treasury, which is good. Okay, so save and continue. All right, so we're doing good. We're doing good, guys. We're doing good, dragons. People are happy. Doing a, we're a good king. General, step forward. Your grace, I have found the son of the peasant. He was lost in a nearby forest looking for home. He was weakened and thirsty, but should be back to full strength soon enough. Fantastic! That's great news. Hardly any light can get through these windows. These halls used to shine, Eric. Father, look what she did! Acilia has put feces under my pillow. How can I ever wash it off? Why did you tell her I told on her? Go back to your chamber, now. There's always people in here. We'll deal with that later. Schedule off for now. But, ugh! If you can't even control your children, then I'm surprised you still sit where you do. And that I'm still standing where I am. Forgive me, we have had a lot going on recently. I'm asking if you're going to make me stand like a commoner here. Oh, of course. Let's talk in the council room. 
Like, I'm not caring for this king. He's kind of a douche. <laughs> huh, you have a lot of books. What is she doing in here? Are you letting children play with your archives? Girls, be gone. Are you a king or a blessed nanny, Eric? What can be so important that you couldn't just send a pigeon? I will be straightforward with this. I need an army. Rodovia has threatened me and my family. Ha! Rodovia? Here? Yes, they... They are simple men. Untrained. Tell you what. I will give you 3,000 soldiers. My army can deal with anything they throw its way. What? Just like that? Fih, of course not. You see, my son, Evio, has... Or, uh, is that Evio? Ivio? It, it could even be an L. Uh, let's just call him Evio. Has been crying and moaning to me about finding him a princess. He's always bothering me. It's about time he grew up. A wife would keep him busy out of my way. Lord Sulia would be good enough for him. She could teach him a thing or two. I also want access to the fine collection of books you have here. Plus anything else you can find. You still seek cures for your wife? Her condition hasn't improved? Well, that does not concern you. You get an army, I get Lucilia and access to these books. So an army for a marriage in return. Yes, of course, you catch on quickly. I'll send my armies right away. Pretty sure, I was pretty sure I promised my, my daughter, Lucilia, that I wouldn't have her marry some random stranger. But we have to keep everyone safe. Fine. I'll send an army straight away. But I want immediate access to the archives. The marriage can be organized later. Let me get lost in your books. Then I think I will start from this room. Fine. You can find me in the throne room if you need me. Let's see. What do we have here? Great. You have made a new ally. You can now try to make more allies by inviting other lords in the allies, allies panel. Can I send another one? When, the, when they have a green icon, will appear by their name like this one next to Lady Ada. Alright, so I'll send her an invite next. I might as well get as many allies as I can. She only has 60 troops for an, a for an army, which isn't much, but she's got food. Uh, even if it's only one food, it's still something, so... Alright, so we're gonna hit... Yeah, X, right? Yeah, alright. Alright, oh. Back to the throne room. Alright. Forward, Lord Etten. Your grace, my daughter is back. I've paid these thugs the ransom. I was nervous as ever in, in my life, but surprisingly it all went smoothly. They got what they wanted. I don't think they will be a problem anymore. As a thank you, I actually scraped together some gold. Here, take this. Fourteen. Nice. So I actually got some of my gold back. And the public's more happy. That's good news. How can I be of service, Your Grace? Tell me about your battle, our battle preparations. What would you like to know, Your Grace? Uh, is our army ready to confront the enemy? With Tal's army, we will crush the Rodovian forces. We just need to focus on our kingdom and get ready for the wedding, Your Grace. All right, that's it. Let's change the set, of course. How can I be of service, Your Grace? Uh, that's all for now. I will be here if you need me, Your Grace. All right, so that's it. So we're set army-wise, but I think we need to do more. Uh, let's go to the gardens. Celia? Huh, of course she's not here. Your Grace, how are you doing today? You're a king, so why do you listen to the man in the council chamber, Father? Well, he's a king too, you know. But you're a better king. You should he should be he should listen to you. Yes, yes, keep your voice down, pumpkin. Alright. Not here. Bedchamber, castle wall. Your Grace, that's all. I will be on my way. Keep up the good work, Stan. Yes, Your Grace. There she is. Dusty! Kitty kitty! Meow. So cute. Rosulia. Oh, it's you. There's something I need to tell you. We have no choice. You must marry e Evo? Ivo? I, I, I still don't know how to pronounce that. The Prince of Atana. It's... I'm sorry. What do you mean? Don't I get a say in this? We need this marriage to secure an army that will defend us. A war is coming. So I'm going to be sacrificed? Did you even consider any other options? Did you even try to offer something other than your daughter? Well, I knew it. I knew the day I'm old enough you would just sell me to the highest bidder. You've been waiting for this. You can't wait to get rid of me, can you? I wish I was a calm girl living in a village, having nothing to worry about, being able to marry the one 
I love, not some snob I've never met. Stupid wedding, stupid prince, you're stupid. I pet this one more time. She's she's mad at me. But there's not really anything we could do about it. That's the worst part. Uh, Aurelia? Darling? <sighs> Lucilia is getting married. What? No, did Byron find us? We can't let him. Lucilia will marry Ivo? Ivo? I still don't know how to pronounce that. The Prince of Atana. I made a treaty with Talus. Marriage for army in return. No, we cannot let her marry a barbarian. Eric, you said you would find a way. Wait. I, Evo? I still don't. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm going to keep pro going back between Ivo and Evo. That's, that's good. That's great. Evo is a prince after all. And if Lucilia is married to Evo, then Bayron can't do anything. Tell us the army might simply scare them away. Oh, this is fantastic news, Eric. Wonderful. Who's going to prepare the wedding? Guest menus? We need to decorate the throne room. We need to buy flowers and decorations. Oh, we need a band, too. I'll take care of that. We'll see how our treasury looks at the end of the week. Does Lucilia know yet? Yes. She didn't take it well. Oh, but what does she know? She wouldn't want to marry that barbaric Byron. Who knows what Redovians do with their wives? Wouldn't surprise me if they cut them up and eat them for dinner the next day. Give her time. She'll come around to the idea. I think things will turn out perfectly fine. Thank you, my dear. See? I told you. Get some rest now. Fine. I will stay here. My God. She was flipping out. Uh, Lucilia. All right. Uh, I scroll down. The king knew Lucilia wasn't going to be happy about the wedding, but he had no other choice if he wanted his family to survive. And Ivo... Ivo is the son of Talos, the royal prince of Atana. He is the future husband of Eric's daughter, Lucilia. The wedding. The wedding of Lucilia and Ivo. A day on which the kings of Davern and Atana would sign a treaty and become allies. Talos has agreed to help Eric with the fight against the Rodovians, but his conditions were tough. An army for the eldest daughter's hand. Rodovian bite. Let's see, scroll down. Eric has invited Talos to the king of Atana and hope to find a new ally. Okay, so that happened, like, before everything else happened. Uh, I think we did this one. When Aurelia found out about the deal Eric made with Talos, she was over the moon. The wedding was sure to solve all of their problems. Fever in the village. See, the village received five stacks of supplies to help them get back on their feet. Lost beloved son. The general has found the son. His father must be well pleased. Alright. I think that was everything. Yeah, that was everything. All right, next week. All right, dragons. Later that night. It had better be something important at this ungodly hour. Your Christ, Rodovian forces have been spotted nearby. We should send our men to track them down. They've come for Lucilia, Eric. We must do something. Send a general to check this. Let Sen stand. We need to see what they are up to. General was sent immediately. All right. Um. Oh, what do we got? Okay, so we have food and gold. Buy fabrics. Hire a band. Buy flowers. Oh, I'm not doing good. Um. Okay, what can I afford right now? I think the fabrics that I can afford. Time until the wedding. Week four. What week are we on? Week four. <laughs> Shit. Oh man, this isn't good. Negative two. I could do those two, but uh, the band's out of the question. Save and continue. But my daughter has to have the best wedding. Please, forward general. What have you learned? Rodovians have formed stationary posts around our castle, Your Grace. Um, camps, if you like. They are planning their next moves. Destroying the post should damage their ability to form strategies, Your Grace. Although we now have a prospect of an army, we shouldn't give them any advantage. You should take a look at the map, Your Grace, and send an agent to clear out those posts as soon as possible. Wait on my mark, General. I will instruct you where to strike. Yes, Your Grace. So the Rodovian bands have made camps around your castle. We need to send a general to eliminate the posts. To see the posts, open the map by clicking the map button below. Okay, that's this. Alright. There's an exclamation point here. We will be ready for the wedding in four weeks, Your Grace. The Rodovian posts need to be eliminated by then. And we still need to provide for the people's needs. Okay, so four weeks from now. Okay. 
Striking the right balance between the two might be tough, if not impossible. With our current resources, we will need to prioritize. Forward lady. Your grace, you called for me? I always forget how beautiful this castle is, your grace. I should visit Grevnome more often. Nevertheless, your grace, I have a favor to ask you. Thank you. What can I do for you? There's a nefarious thief going from lord to lord and pretending like he needs help. He convinced other nearby lords to give him gold, including me. He always says he's a merchant and his goods have been stolen. Okay, so he says he's a merchant and that his, his goods were stolen. So I need to be careful. I'm sure he will visit you sooner or later. What did he look like? Was he wearing anything specific? Did anything stand out? He was we wearing dirty cream apron and a dark green shirt. Okay. So, a cream apron and a dark green shirt. Oh, and he was wearing a hat. I'll keep an eye out for him. If I find him, I will send you as, send for you as soon as possible. Thank you very much, Your Grace. I don't know if she's... I don't know if she's an ally or not here. Forward. Your Grace, my son was found safe and sound. There are no words. He's a little something. My wife has made a cake for you. A strawberry one, I think. Thank you, Your Grace. Strawberry pie. Hmm. Forward, merchant. Your Grace, the tavern you helped me to establish is up and running. It's doing so well that it's not just a stop between long trips. It's more of a destination on its own now. As promised, I will start sharing my profits with you. A whole one gold every week. That sounds fair? One gold? You must be joking. This is ridiculously low. Make it three pieces. I think this will be fair for both parties. Hmm. I guess you're right. Your Grace, these three pieces of gold it is then. Eh, it is worth a shot. I was going to make it four, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to be stingy. They have to be able to make a profit so that they also can continue to thrive so that the tavern continues to, to bring me in more gold. If I charge too much, then they're not going to get anything, you know? Hey, hey, Pumpkin. How can I help, Pumpkin? I wonder about Lucilia, Father. What will happen to her when she leaves? She promised me she'd take care of me, but now she's leaving. Why would she lie? And what happens to Dusty? Lucilia wouldn't lie to you. Your sister didn't know she'd have to leave Sidani. As for Dusty, it's Lucilia's cat. She would probably want to take Dusty to keep her company. But if she didn't leave, then Dusty wouldn't have to go as well. I don't want her to leave. Can you talk to her? It's not exactly Lucilia's choice. I'm sure she would prefer to stay. She would never leave you on purpose. Why does she do it then? If she would rather stay, she should. Can you talk to her? Convince her to stay? Uh, of course, Sidani. I could try convincing her, but I don't think that will change a thing. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. I better check out Lucilia when there's time. Forward. Your Grace, they took our cattle. Monsters with steel came in and took everything. Sure, there's plenty of grass left now, but what's the good of it if they take cattle to Grace? It's like gliders. <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> Can you help me, Sir Grace? Five supplies or five gold. Here. This should be enough for you to get your village a new herd. That's even a bit more than we needed. Thank you, Your Grace. Okay. I think my accents keep changing. I know it's like they get different accents every time. All right, so let's check. He doesn't have an exclamation point. Uh, archives. Uh, Sidani. Sidani's worried about her older sister, although the king suspected it's more dusty. Those two grew up together, so it's no wonder Sidani's upset. Tavern business. Um, okay, the, the king picked up on the potential scam and asked for a higher income of three pieces of gold a week, which was fair. I could have even asked for more. A thief in disguise. She described him as, oh, okay, perfect. So it's actually right here, so I can keep checking if I need to. All right, so what I need to do, Redovian bite. Okay, so I need to go to the map. Send the general by selecting the Redovian post and clicking on the magnifying glass icon. Exploring locations may result in gain of resources. In this case, we need to dispatch the Redovian posts. You can send any agent to explore any location. Okay, so, we, there's two posts in the woods, one in the east, one in the north, and one in the west. We have three of them here. I'm not seeing anything else, but I th I feel like since this is open field. I think the these are going to be a bit more dangerous to have to deal with because they have cover. So let's check the north first. General. Send a general. General has been sent. All right, so he's going to check the north one here. All right. So let's go check. Bedchamber, castle wall. 
and Lucilia's not up here. Maybe Lucilia will know where she, where she is. All right, so that was it. I, that's all I need to do. Okay, so she's. I'm not gonna bother going all the way up there if she's not here. But Donnie, Asalia, I don't think she. I need to speak to her. Yes, father. Swords. Please tell me you haven't had a scrimmage with Lucilia. She's far too soft for that. She wouldn't stand a chance. Let me be the judge of that. Show me what you've got. Really? You will fight with a girl? Let's go. I, I don't really know how to. Since I can't ride on my horse, I had to find something else to do. I just picked them up. Let's, let's see what you could do. Just go easy on my father. Ouch. Too slow. My turn. You've got quite an arm there, young lady. So tell me, Astelia, what is going on with you two? Still holding grudges? She's locked herself up in her chamber with... What a baby. Hmm. You did leave feces on her bed. Don't pretend like this is the reason she won't come out. Is this what will happen to me one day, too? Uh, you will be 13 next year. I want to say no. I don't want my little girls to leave home so soon, but the truth is, once you become of age, we will need to find you a husband, sooner or later. Hmm, I guess I didn't think of it before. This puts everything into a different perspective. <clears throat> I was angry at her for being so irritated, but now I'm angry at her f that she's leaving me. I, I feel bad for her, but who will I vex now? Sedani's too young, it's not the same. I'm sure you will find a way to occupy your time. I guess we should end it here. I was just warming up. Do you think we could do this again one day? I will find you when I have a while. I suppose that'll be, be never then. You hardly do anything anymore. Tell us what tell you otherwise. Trust me. Father, I'm sorry. What I did to Lucilli wasn't fair. Don't apologize to me. I know. I feel like it's best to give her some time. I will make it right, though. Don't do anything silly, Celia. Do I ever? All right, so I got some information about that. And go to the bedchamber. <clears throat> Darling? How are the wedding preparations going? Do you need do you need help with anything? I'm preparing some handmade decorations. I hope Lucilia likes them. I'm sure she will. They are lovely, my darling. The wedding is so soon and there is so much to do. I think we're going to have roast duck and a Calassian salad. I don't know yet about the cake. I need to speak to Lucilia about it. I'll let you work on the preparations if you need anything. I'll be in the throne room. Fine, I will stay here. What do I do with this? I'll just put this with the rest of my supplies. Oh! Oh, I'd have to click on it. Oh, cool. Plus one to my food. Well, how about that? I didn't know that. <laughs> Whoops. Awesome. Okay, how do I save? <laughs> well, anyways... I believe that's everything, so dragons, I'll see you guys next time in the arena. Drag Master sign off, so stay cool, stay awesome. I'll see you guys next time in the arena. Seriously, Drag Master sign off. Have an awesome, fantastic night, guys. See ya.